We love our dogs. There is no question about it. And the absolute last thing that we want is to see them being in some sort of pain. However, if you suspect that your dog is experiencing joint pains but not sure of it, stay tuned because we will discuss eight signs of joint pains and three ways that you can do to help. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back guys, my name is Dr. Fritz Resho. I'm an animal doctor and every week I post videos, cases, topics, and tips on how to better take care of your fur babies. And this week, we are going to talk about joint pains and three ways that you can do to help. But before we proceed, please hit like, subscribe, and the bell button so that you get updated for whenever you post new videos in our YouTube channel. We are on Facebook, Dr. Fritz Animal Wellness Center. And on Instagram, Dogford's Animal Wellness Center, and my personal Instagram, Ferds Rachel. On with our topic, you know, as your dog ages, you may notice that they are slowing down and exhibiting several of the classic signs of joint pain in dogs. This can be devastating for any pet parent because you want your dog to be comfortable and happy throughout their lives. However, there are several things that you can do to help ease your dog's discomfort without having to have them undergo surgery. These simple things can lead to a happy, healthier dog even as they get older. So what are the signs of joint pain? Since your dog can't come out and tell you that they are in pain, you'll have to observe them and look for one of these classic signs. Number one, limping. So if your dog hasn't experienced any trauma and you notice that they seem to limp when they get up and walk, this is a sign of joint pain. Dogs experience joint pain commonly in their hips as they age and this can lead to limping. Your dog's hip joints can become inflamed as they age from simple wear and tear and this makes them less prone to use them. By limping, they avoid using the joint as much and this can help reduce the amount of pain or stiffness they may feel. Arthritis is a common ailment in older dogs, whether they're huge or small breed, and this can cause them to limp. By definition, arthritis is an inflammation of the joint, and it came from simple aging or trauma to the area. Number two, sleeping on the floor. You know, dudulas, doon sa mga sahig, no? Many homes may have more slippery floors, especially yung mga cementado, hardwood flooring, tiles, or laminate because they are easier to clean and they look very nice. However, they can be a safety concern for your dog because your dog won't be able to get a good grip as they walk or run over this type of flooring. Your dog is even more prone to sleeping on your floors if they're experiencing joint pain. Mas madalas yan because their gait is off due to them being in pain. Hindi na nga balansin yung paglakad nila. Uh, lalo na kapag hairy pa yung kanyang paws. Tapos madulas pa yung floor. They may try to favor one leg over the other. And in doing this, they are more likely to overbalance or slip. Especially if your floor doesn't have any traction. Mga marble styles and mga linoleum floors. Hardwood or slippery flooring can also cause your dog not to get enough traction to move or bend their joints properly. And this increases the chances that your dog can experience loss of mobility or stiffness when they move. Number three, loss of muscle. As your dog ages, their bodies begin to produce less growth hormone and they begin to have difficulty processing protein. When you combine this with joint pain, you have a powerful combination of muscle loss. And in some cases, this can develop very rapidly. You may notice this loss of muscle in your dog's hindquarters, especially around their back legs. Dito sa side na yan, yan. Especially due to sa may hip bones, sa may puwita nila, no? And this leads to muscle disuse as well. A healthy dog works all of their muscles and this increases the blood flow through all of them. When your dog doesn't move or use their muscles as much due to pain, the blood flow is reduced and the muscle begins to deteriorate or shrink. Kakaroon tayo ng disuse atrophy, yung tawag natin. 
Number four, weight gain or change in appetite. It is normal for your dog to move less and sleep more as they become older. But this can also produce problems with their appetite and weight. If your dog is experiencing joint pain, they're typically more hesitant to get up and move around unless they have to. Makikita mo palagi yan. Parang tulog lang tulog, ayaw bumangon. So if you continue feeding your dog the same amount of food pero your activity level nila decreases, they can start to gain weight. However, this can also go in the other direction as well. Your dog may experience a change in their appetite and it may decrease because it is common for dogs to reduce the amount of or stop eating altogether when they're stressed or in pain. Kasi nga, masakit eh. Hindi sila masyadong kakain or hindi sila masyadong magkikilos. If you're concerned about your older dog's lack of appetite, walang gano'ng kumain, baka gusto nyo dalhin lang sa veterinaryo for a checkup to see and find out baka meron silang joint pain. Number five, hesitation to jump or go on walks. Dati kasi ang sipag-sipag nilang lumakad, ang, ang kukulit, ang lilikse, pero ngayon ah, ayaw na. Arguably, one of the easiest signs of joint pain with your dog is that they're more hesitant to jump on and off furniture or they suddenly dislike to go on walks when they enjoyed it before. Your dog may also become hesitant to climb up and down the stairs or get in or out of your car. Yan yung mga una na papansin natin dati. Isang hatak mo lang, bababa na sila ngayon parang as they get older, parang kailangan mo na silang i-assist. Your dog quickly learns what hurts and what doesn't when they have joint pain. And jumping or walking puts pressure on their already inflamed joint. So in turn, they experience more pain so they go out of their way to avoid those common activities. Additionally, the more your dog uses their joints, the more inflamed they can become. And this may be a reason why they don't want to go on walks like they used to. Walking on uneven ground can also irritate their joint pain as well. Number six, irritability. When dogs are stressed out, anxious, or in pain, parang tao din, they can quickly become more irritable and have noticeable personality changes. Again, they can tell you that something hurts. So by becoming more prone to snap or growl at you, they're communicating that they're in pain. So baka yung aso natin, akala natin masungit ay yung pala, they're in pain na pala. Your dog may not know what is causing their pain, but sometimes something as light as touching their sore areas is enough to make them snap at you because the pressure causes their pain to increase. This can also increase their aggression levels if their pain increases. Once you've begun to treat the cause or causes of your dog's pain, their irritability levels should begin to drop as well. Nipping, snapping, growling, or just not wanting to be touched can all be signs that your dog is suffering from joint pain. Number seven, licking, chewing, or biting. Your dog may start to lick, chew, or bite at any areas where they are experiencing pain in an attempt to alleviate it. Hindi lang nila, lalo na sa pos, yung mga maaabot nila sa katawan. No? You'll also notice this kapag when they're itchy or pruritic. One of your dog's first instinct is to clean and care for a wound area, whether the pain is internal or external. And they do this by licking or chewing at the area. You can usually tell if they're fixated in one area because the skin may be irritated from the constant attention. Mumula, mayroon discoloration. No? It can also lead to hair loss or even open sores where your dog had dug at their skin in an attempt to soothe their joint pain. Number eight, letter G, pananamlay. Your dog is smart and it won't take long for them to figure out when they move around a lot their joint pain can increase. They can quickly become very lethargic and not want to move around a lot because it feels better when they're still or yun nandun lang sa isang sulok, sa ilalim ng upuan or sa isang sa, sa bed lang niya. Also, older dogs generally have less energy than 
they did when they were very young or when they were younger. And this can lead to them being more lethargic as well. So if you combine this reduced energy levels and inflammation or pain, you have the perfect recipe for a lethargic older dog. Now that you know what the eight common signs of joint pains are, you have to know how to treat it without surgery to give your senior dog some belief. Number one, glucosamine supplements. Iba may glucosamine chondroitin. One of the best or one of the most popular arthritis supplements is glucosamine. And this is naturally occurring a substance that you can find in your dog's healthy cartilage. As your dog ages, habang tumatanda sila, their bodies naturally produce less glucosamine and this will eventually lead to joint pain, inflammation, and stiffness. The natural and ongoing wear and tear on your dog's joints combined with your dog's slower ability to repair their cartilage can develop into more several medical problems like arthritis. Yeah? Pet parents frequently give their older dogs glucosamine supplements in order for them to, to, in order to help them combat their joint pain and stiffness. The glucosamine supplements will help reduce your dog's pain levels due to their joint inflammation because glucosamine is a natural anti-inflammatory. In addition to this, it will also help to lubricate your dog's joints and this can lead to better muscle support and easier movements. Number two, weight management and exercise. So on a medium-sized dog like, uh, let's say, Golden Retriever, an additional 7 pounds is equivalent to 12.5 pounds to a human being. And on a small dog like, for example, a Beagle, an additional 5 pounds is equivalent to an additional 20 pounds to a human. Just like a human, the additional pounds put more stress on your dog's joints. If you notice that your senior dog is slowly down and starting to gain weight, you can help them combat this by implementing weight management strategies and an exercise routine. You can start by adjusting your dog's calorie intake or by putting them on a weight management dog food formula to help them slim down. You can also get your dog out and more active because light exercises will help them lose weight. If you're worried about their joints, you can take your dog swimming or utilize water-based exercises because the water will keep your dog from putting extra stress on their joints. Pain medication. Pain meds. Ito yung mga prescription ng mga veterinary nyo. If you've tried uh, natural supplements in helping your dog lose weight but they're still experiencing a lot of pain and stiffness, it may be time for pain medications. It doesn't have to be a strong painkiller to do the job either. As aspirin is an excellent anti-inflammatory pain medication. Pero, kumusulta muna sa veterinary nyo. The next tire of pain medications that your veterinarian may recommend are corticosteroids. And these pain medications mimic the effects of normal steroids. These pain medications require a prescription and they're meant to be used on a short-term basis rather than a long-term basis because they come with more serious side effects. As your dog ages and they start to experience common symptoms of joint pain, there are several things that you can do to help alleviate your dog's pain without having to put them through surgery. Natural supplements, weight management, and pain medications can all help to make your dog's joint pain lessen. And this can lead to a happier, healthier, and a more active senior dog. If you suspect that your pet is experiencing joint pain, have them seen by a veterinarian or visit any of our Dogford's Animal Wellness Centers in Timo, Yupitang, and North Edsa. We call them through these numbers. You may also visit our website at www.dogfordsawc.com. So if you're in Cavite, check out our clinic there called Wax and Whiskers. So if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe so that you get updated and never post new videos. This has been Dogford's Ratio. See you again next week.